Now, this is where it's going to change. Our end, okay? Our ends are responsible, like I talked about before. They're responsible for three to two. And this is where it gets a little different. They're responsible, yes, for the C gap. But they count outside in. They count one, two, three. I find the three. Okay? That's their first responsibility. The real responsibility is the number two. Now, the, we use what we call the hinge technique. They use the same footwork. They're going to take a short six-inch power step inside. They should be butt to butt, hip to hip with that tackle. But the key thing is, they punch the three, they spike the three, but their eyes are on two the whole time. Eyes are on two. Key, key, key coaching point. Okay? Their eyes remain on two. If they get caught with their inside hand and their eyes on three, sometimes number two gets by them before they ever see it coming. Okay? And, and the other common fault with the ends when they don't punch the three. Okay? They just try to baby, babysit the three and time up to punch the two. Well, the three is in there. If from the outside in, the three is in there 95% of the time to corral or drag that outside arm down. As that end starts to hinge, that three is in there to drag his outside arm down. But if I spike that guy and I punch him in the chest, I keep him at an arm's length away, he got no chance to get to my outside hand. So the key is spike. I've got to spike the three, hinge on the two. And you don't have to look at the three. You know where he's at based on his alignment. I know where he's at pre-snap. I don't have to look at him to punch him. Okay? So again, the ends, key, three to two. That's their responsibility. Okay? They will align toe to end step of the tackles. Okay? So we got guards, toe to end step of the snapper. Tackles are toe to toe with the guards. Ends, toe to end step of the tackles. Our wing, okay? they double bump two to one. So we got the end responsible three to two. Wing is going to double bump two to one. Again, just like the ends, real responsibility is the two. The wing's real responsibility is the one. He's going to hold off the two with the end before he bumps out to the one. He will align his inside foot, okay, just inside the outside foot of the end, okay, or directly behind it if you want to make it easy, however you want to do it, facing out at a 45-degree angle. Now, his footwork, he will take a short step with his front foot, okay, so if I'm a right wing that we're talking about, okay, he's facing out at a 45 the first thing I do is I step with my inside foot first and put my inside hand into the, into the, to number two before I, again, my eyes are on one and I time up the punch to redirect or ricochet number one. But the key there is his eyes have to be on one to redirect him. Okay? Now, again, so the, the techniques are there with that, with the ends and the wings and, and the guards and the tackles. Okay? <clears throat> now, we have, a, we have a couple calls that we use to help the ends out and help the, the wings out. So really what you're doing, we're talking about putting more stress on them to really execute. We're trying to shore up the inside of the